Hey, hey, it's Adam with Productivity Academy, and today, of course, I wanted to show you a little bit about SaneBox. So uh, if you're just watching the video, you can uh, go below and click and head over to the website and check out the much longer and more in-depth description. Uh, this is just going to be a, a quick visual look, and I thought, what better <laughs> way to show this than here's one of my inboxes that I'm using it with. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I had to clear out a few emails uh, that I had already read uh, and just archive them that I had come through uh, today, but uh, this is has helped me so much uh, maintain a clean inbox and to be able to spend less time in my inbox. I mean, hey, I love Gmail. It's handy. It's great for, you know, uh, communication and all, all sorts, both personal and business. Uh, but I know for myself, when I have way too much stuff in my inbox, I get distracted. Like I will come in here like, oh, OK, I need that one actionable email. And then I see that other email and I click and I go in and I read something and then, you know, I'm not terrible. It's not like, you know, an hour later I realize I'm on uh, TechCrunch or, or, you know, Huffington Post or something. But, you know, I do get distracted. I'll end up, you know, on a little bit of a tangent. And that time really adds up. Uh, in the article, I talk about it. You know, if all SaneBox ended up doing was saving me like 10 minutes a day, which I think is kind of an uh, underestimation, that, you know, over a year, that's something like 61 hours right? Which is like a week and a half in terms of like business days. Well, so anyways, craziness. So I've got a few things set up here. There's a lot more options. I go through it in the article uh, so you can look through that, but you can see that the emails are over here. And I like this because I personally don't need to um, have to go in here every day. It's done such a good job of, you know, important and new contacts come into my inbox and I can just click and drag them into the correct one. That's called training uh, for SaneBox. So super simple. You can also just change the labels, but if you like clicking and dragging, you know, that's there too. So for me, the two most important ones are Sane Later and Sane News. All right, I'm testing out Sane Archive. It's something I hadn't used before much. And then uh, the black hole, if you want to not uh, ever <laughs> see anything from that person again, you can put that there. Uh, but saying later, right, is stuff that's still important. But, you know, I've got stuff from, uh, great, the G Suite team. Yep, definitely don't need that in my inbox. Um, I've got some uh, social media stuff. I've got some tools um, and, you know, things that are coming in here. I, it's stuff, you know, can do a quick review, but I definitely don't need to see it. And then news, more updates. You got things like uh, Snack Nation, Clavio, uh, you know, Zapier. Um, tough conversations. Uh, so this is good. You know, uh, there's stuff I want to see in here, but now it doesn't go through my inbox. I don't have to worry about creating the filters, which I've done, um, you know, and I have no problem doing that. I consider myself at least <laughs> adept at doing that and setting up filters and Gmail. But uh, that was one of the coolest parts was just setting this up and their filtering was so good. Uh, at, this is one of my business accounts. But when I set it up on my personal account, I just had the same later, same news, I believe same black hole. And I realized I could basically get rid of a lot of the stuff that I had set up myself uh, because I just needed those two. So I have my inbox, which was much cleaner, much easier to go through. And then Sane Later uh, and Sane News, which, you know, I could go through later in the day, which is how I've been treating this, where I try to stay out of that uh, and just, you know, deal with my in inbox. And then later in the day, because I'm not, uh, for me, one of those people who says, oh, I got to never use email like it's really functional i there's brands i like hearing from even you know there's things i want to see maybe it's a app sumo deal something like that uh, but i need to not have that in my inbox when i'm trying to get stuff done in the uh, morning especially um, so, uh, the big thing for me was the simplicity. Okay. Uh, getting this set up was super simple, uh, head over to the website, you log in, you give me your email. It does its thing. And depending on, you know, how many emails you have, it may take a while for it to kind of crunch through that, but it could just take a few minutes. So it's it, somewhere in there. And then I just realized like, oh, it, you know, it asks you, it does a little walkthrough. I like their, you know, way of doing it. Ask you what you want to set up, um, you know, which folders like these you want. Um, and then it just goes through and does it thing. And you can, of course, find, you know, more detail. I'm not going to like recreate their product video. They are the true experts. I just want to of course, show you kind of my take on this. Um, but they basically go through and uh, you're good. Uh, so uh, I realized I uh, had kind of been looking for something like this. I just didn't think that um, it was out there in the sense that this was, and I say this in the article, it's one of those first times where I'm like, I think they, maybe they say it themselves, like AI for your inbox. And it's like, oh, okay, well, probably that's true. But doing this, I was like, wow, this really does feel like more. It's nice. I've made very few changes. You know, there's a couple things where I would click and drag an email into a different folder. And I think I've done that five times over the last two months. So uh, pretty, pretty hands off. So again, for me, the big power here was the simplicity, 
right? And just being able to use it, it wasn't for me complicated. I just started using it and immediately uh, saw what the power was because I didn't really have to do anything and it just kept me out of my inbox and kind of kept me from uh, being distracted. So I will say there's a couple things that I've used in the past as far as alternatives to this. Um, you know, I already talked about setting up my own filters and trying to uh, deal with that. And again, you know, maybe if you don't have a few or sorry, if you don't have a lot of emails, uh, that could work for you. You could maybe do that on your own. Um, the other one was unroll.me. Um, and I had tried that and eventually it just kind of got out of hand. It was a lot more manual. Uh, but again, with a smaller amount of emails, that may be a service that you could use. But I would highly recommend SaneBox if, you know, you're like me, if you're either a business owner, um, you know, you work in a team or, or office environment, um, or you're just, I <laughs> say, like most people, and you get a lot of emails and you want to have a simple solution to it. Um, highly suggest checking it out. Uh, there's a link below. Um, they offer a free trial, which I really love um, because I could understand if they didn't because I think the service is so valuable, but this lets you really see uh, what's going on and, and how this can help you. So go check that out. Uh, and again, if you want to see the uh, full write-up I did, you can find that below. Uh, just click on that, go check it out, and uh, let me know what you think.